This is the world's smallest smartphone. Enter the Jelly Phone by Unihertz. Hello guys, my name is Vic Christoph with Phone Arena and today in the office we've got the world's smallest smartphone. And it's time to unbox it and see what it's all about. So it's time for our magical unboxing and here's what's inside the box. We got a micro USB cable and a tiny tool that you use to take the plastic back cover off this phone because the battery that's inside the phone is actually put in a plastic bag so you actually need to first take it out in order to be able to use the phone. That's what we're doing right here and once the battery is inserted in its proper place it's really easy to put the plastic back cover on. By the way taking it off is a really hard process. So here we go. This phone has a little trick. First it easily fits in a jeans pocket, in a regular jeans pocket. But then watch what happens. Remember that tiny secondary pocket that you have right there, the condom pocket or whatever you call it? It fits easily in there too so just you can carry it as a backup phone or just have it there. And it's a true smartphone so it runs on Android 7.0 Nougat which is a bit outdated now but this phone came back in 2017. It runs fairly smoothly, features a MediaTek chip. It, it has in two versions. The first version comes with 1GB of RAM and 8 gigs of storage and the second one comes with 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigabytes of storage. But the best thing about this phone is that it features 4G LTE connectivity which makes browsing much faster on this phone and as you can see here we have our phone arena web page open. Here's what the phone looks like. A bit reminiscent of phones back from 2014 or 2015 when you had those plastic chubby phones. This is one like these. But the biggest compromise here is the tiny tiny keyboard. It's a pain to use. It's almost impossible to text on this phone. But then if you want this phone to use this phone for rehab from that uh, addictive smartphone experience, well maybe that's a good thing. And here is the display, very low res, not very high quality. What else do we have here? An 8 megapixel autofocus camera on the back with a single LED flash. Remember that this is a cheap phone so don't expect anything groundbreaking in terms of camera quality, image quality. This phone can also record 1080p video which is okay, it's nice to have. Again the quality is just okay, nothing else. Up front you have a 2 megapixel camera for selfies. But the biggest selling point of the Jelly phone is of course its size and you can see that it's less than half the size of an already small iPhone 8 and when you compare it to the pretty gigantic iPhone 8 Plus it looks just very very tiny. Here is you can see them once again the jelly phone again being very compact very tiny and here's one more look at the jelly phone a very basic phone that you can get for around $100 world's smallest 4G LTE phone. So would you buy one of these for a backup phone? Would you use it? Let us know in the comments right below. Like this video if you enjoyed watching subscribe to our channel for more videos and I will catch you in the next one.